Uh, hey guys, so this is a quick explainer on how we're using ChatGPT to um, write property descriptions. Descriptions are always kind of a pain because you, know, you have to use your creative juices, they've got to be decent, um, but you know, they're, they're, they're just kind of a pain to put together. So ChatGPT as a calculator for copy, which is a really good way, a really good way to describe it. Um, let me show you something real quick. So uh, let's say, can you, um, translate this to Gen Z slang. Ellie, let's go take out my time. I feel like cooking. And so it does this. Yeah, so it's uh, kind of funny whenever you do stuff like that. So what we're always trying to do is figure out, um, you know, how do we write the best copy based on what we have? And if you feed ChatGPT good information, then it'll spit out some really nice copy for you. So, um, you know, we do a few things. We have a few assets that we always create. So we have an optional um, property description form. And if you fill this out, it'll help uh, LC uh, put together a great, a great description for you. We also ask our clients to put together a couple of assets. Um, one of them is the 10 things we love about our home. This is, uh, yeah, this is what, um, uh, the clients put together and they, they, what they what they're proud about what they like about their home and then we have a list of upgrades as well and so we can feed all of this information including the property description form to chat gpt and it'll spit out a really nice uh really nice um uh, property description for you guys you want to give it really good instructions and i'm going to copy and paste this what i used earlier so what I say is act as a marketer in real estate, write a description for this property that uses locations nearby as keywords and draws attention to features, limit to 2,000 characters. We have 2,000 characters in uh, the MLS property description. So let's go ahead and go. So I'm going to feed it that instruction first. Oops. Copy this again. New chat. I'm going to feed it this description then I have to start feeding it the good information. So the first thing I'm gonna feed it is the property description form that Vicky filled out right here. And just go all there, copy it, go back to ChatGPT, um, paste it in, hit return. We're gonna to go to the 10 things we love about our home. So we're gonna copy all of that. We're going to paste that in as well. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to paste in the upgrades. Boom. Paste that in. It'll take it a second because it's going to have to digest all this info. Actually, it didn't take it a second. So. And so this is AI, so it's not going to be perfect, but this is pr pretty dang good already, right? You can give it feedback. So I'm going to say, um, can you be more efficient with language and include more details? Um, great. Can you include info about the schools? So you can keep giving it feedback like this until uh, you know it spits out what what you would like for it to <clears throat> excuse me what you like for it to spit out. Great, and you can read all this. I mean, I'm not going to read it to you in the video. I try to keep the video a little bit efficient, but um, yeah, it's really phenomenal. So this is our process, and if you guys ever want to do anything like this, you can. So watch this. So um, can you expand to five thousand characters? So that if you want like, um, you know, a longer description for the website or something like that. Um, can you make the home features and puts? Here we go. Um, so can you limit the bullets to five total and uh, write copy for 
contrast. So you can see, you can just keep going on this. I mean, it'll it'll edit as much as you possibly want. Um, so again, you know, Trey's explanation of calculator for copy, probably the best best way you could describe ChatGPT. Um, really great. Uh, we're using it internally quite a bit. And uh, yeah, it's solved a problem that's been kind of annoying to us for quite a while.